Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about some never before seen easter eggs in Captain America the First Avenger that unfortunately, due to character rights, never made it into the movie. But first, I'm giving away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, so if you want to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stay tuned till the end where I'll go into more details on all the giveaway stuff again there. Now let's get started. In Captain America The First Avenger, when Steve Rogers frees the Howling Commandos and saves Bucky Barnes, there was originally supposed to be a scene with Wolverine and Magneto. Seeing as the movie takes place during World War II, Logan would have been born in the 1880s and would still be alive due to his healing factor. But at this point, he wouldn't have gone through the Weapon Plus program yet, since Captain America is Weapon 1 and Wolverine is Weapon X, or 10, meaning that he wouldn't have his adamantium claws or skeleton yet. And Max Eisenhart aka Magneto would also appear, but he would be a young boy and his powers would have barely manifested, so he wouldn't be a threat to Red Skull. However, now that Marvel owns the rights back to the X-Men characters, and with a little retconning power, it could easily be changed to where this did happen. Just like the scene in Iron Man 2, where Tony saved the young kid who loved Iron Man, and it would eventually be retconned into a younger version of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Later on in the movie, we also see the original Human Torch on display at the World's Fair sequence. The synthetic man was an android created by Dr. Phineas T. Horton, who kept this creation in a big glass case. And when he opened that case, exposure to oxygen caused the android to not only explode into fire, but obtain sentience. The Human Torch is also notable because he took part in the first full-scale comic book crossover where he battled Namor the Submariner. And funnily enough, if you look closely at the left side of the concept art by Adam Brockbank that was done for Captain America the First Avenger, you'll see Atlantis Enterprise as the underwater cities of the future, and Atlantis is home to none other than Namor. Plus in the comics, Marvel's invaders are a group that consists of the Human Torch, Namor, Iron Man, Spitfire, Toro, and they were the greatest superhero team that fought the Allies in World War II. The film's director Joe Johnson stated some time ago that the invaders would appear in the movie, but rescinded it by saying the invaders was just a spitball name for Steve Rogers' team, which eventually became the Howling Commandos. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Did you know about these easter eggs and cameos? And if not, do you wish they would have happened? Now onto the giveaway details. We've gained 200 subscribers in the past two months, and I know that we can easily beat that. So for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I'm gonna do something special. Whenever we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll choose a random winner and give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers. But there's a catch. If we get 1,000 subscribers by August 1st, I'll instead give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, the Deluxe Edition. I already gave away a Baby Groot Funko Pop at the 500 subscriber mark. So if you're new to the channel or you wanna be entered to win a copy of Marvel's Avengers, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment on this video. And since it'll be truly random, the more videos you leave a comment on, the better chance you'll have to win. Thanks for watching and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.